welcome back. With me right now is Dr. Carrie Burnite. Now, I looked at this name, but I came across uh, my notes for yesterday, and I thought this name sounds really familiar, but the company, GrandPad, that we're gonna talk about, I was like, okay, I've never heard of this. Well, of course, uh, it turns out Carrie's been on uh, many times before. She's a gerontologist, she's been with UCI, but now you are with uh, a company called GrandPad. Yeah. Good to see you again. It's so good to see yeah. you. Yeah. My favorite. Yeah, it's <laughs> great to home. have you here today. <laughs> so let's talk about um, how this came about. And of course, people, uh, you know, we can, I'm going to hold it up here. And at first glance, you might say, was this an iPad? Is this a Kindle Fire? Whatever it, it might be. And um, while the form factor is very similar, yes. it's not. Right. So how did this come about? How did you get involved? So I spent 19 years as a university professor. And what I found is that chronic loneliness was actually uh, yeah. killing my patients. Right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And it was the biggest risk factor of elder abuse. Mm -hmm. And here we had technology, but it was never designed in a right. sophisticated <laughs> way for us users. And so when I learned that these technology experts were going to create something from scratch that was a complete solution, mm -hmm. I looked at it and I was blown away. It looks the same and is in different in every way. Okay, so tell us uh, what are the advantages to this? Now, I went online and I looked at your website and um, you said the average age would be somebody uh, maybe like 82 or above. Yes. So most, would, would, uh, you know, basically even on your website you're saying the, what I would call the younger seniors, uh, they're more in tune to iPads and things like that. They're young enough that they've, they've handled them a little bit more, handled computers and kind of, kind of moved into the things. But when I look at somebody like my dad who is 88 and even though my brother got him a very simple computer, we even got him, I believe, um, like a used iPad. You know, it, he's, he's lost on right. it. Right. And it is not the fault of the senior. Yeah. We need to be designing in a sophisticated way mm -hmm. that is designed for older adults. So right. it what we did was we created everything from scratch so that the screen is sensitive to our fingers the speakers that are in the front so we can hear it okay you, you need not worry about passwords you need not worry you only have connection with people in your circle of trust okay so that the scammers that is this multi-billion dollar industry right. of scamming people they're locked out of this okay and what's nice is that family members with their traditional devices can instantly send pictures or connect. Okay. And my favorite is if I could use a little story. Of course, I have please. a dear friend who lives back east and she's a little bit hard of hearing as 50% of us are. Mm -hmm. And I, with one touch of a button, she's able to press a button and we do a video call. And with it, she can, I, we can read each other's lips more wow. carefully. And we even have real-time texting. So if I were to say October, and she thought that I said November, mm -hmm. which looks similar, yeah. um, I can type in October so that she oh, knows. Oh, very nice. It's, so it's, I'm watching it revolutionize yeah. the way we're aging. Okay, so what I want to find out is um, how somebody, one, they would get this. Yes. And what, you know, again, I, I read online and I looked, and my, my question is, you folks chose to go with a, a four, um, four LTE, yes. which is cellular, rather than Wi-Fi. And I'm wondering what the reasoning it's is for that. It's such a really good question. Okay. So the reason we did that is that we <clears throat> listened deeply to hundreds of adults age 75 to 114. Okay. And what they said was, I want to be able to connect I don't want to have to worry about what, you know, connecting with the internet and the password and the okay. cords. So everything we did is to take the headache away. Okay. And Einstein said, the greatest sophistication is simplicity. Right. And that's exactly what we've been trying to, it's really hard okay. to make something so straightforward. All right. Yeah, so wherever you go, you can take this to the doctor's office. And let's say your adult daughter who lives in Florida wanted to hear what he was saying. You could press a button 
and the doctor is talking nice. to both of you. We also, we know that chronic loneliness, which 43% of seniors experience, is the same as smoking 15 cigarettes a day. Wow, so that's incredible. So I left academics in order to be part of the solution yeah. where we can improve the lives of millions of seniors. And I can see Laguna Woods being the hub of this revolution. Well, I know, uh -huh. you know, uh, Carrie knows her stuff because not only with UCI, and I believe you've come on talks when we've had the Senior Summit and the Council on Aging and yeah. all these things yes. you've been connected with, am I right? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, so I know you know, you know this very well. So uh, y you've helped create something that, um, again, may look like in a standard iPad, actually looks more like a, a Kindle Fire, um, but you've designed it that it, it kind of locks down certain aspects of what these other tablets open up, which yes. uh, can open up a whole new world, but also people, as easy as an iPad might be, people can get lost in it and, and hit something and go, okay, why, why aren't my texts going through now or something That's like right. that. That's right, and we wanted everything good. 30 million songs, engaging interactive games, mm -hmm. pictures sent mm -hmm. daily from your grandkids, mm -hmm. you can send pictures, a magnifying glass, all these wonderful features without the bad, because there's okay. a multi-billion dollar scam business. Oh, I know, yeah, I get it all the time. the greatest way yeah. people, it's through tablets and computers. Yeah. So after I was the director for 15 years of the nation's first elder abuse forensic center, and I would sit and think, we need to stop these perpetrators before right. it even starts. So it took a lot of work and sophistication to design mm -hmm. something with all the good without any of that bad. <laughs> okay, let's talk about two things. Number one, let's talk about the other end of it, the app that yes. people can get on any phone. Yes. And my first question is with that, that when their, their grandparent, or whoever it might be, texts them, it goes through that app. It's not going through their iPhone iMessages or the Android message or yes. Facebook messenger. So that person at the other end, has got to, they're gonna load that, that app, they're yes. gonna need that. Now would notifications for them pop up, meaning, okay, you know, grandpa just sent me this, and then when they hit that, it's gonna go right into that app. Exactly. Okay. So what we did is, so if I'll take myself as an example, I am 50 and my mom is 90. Okay. So I'm not 20, I am not the most sophisticated, right. I don't live for technology by any means. So what's nice on my phone, I could in a simple press download the app or application right. on my phone. And then when I take a picture, I press one button and my mom through mm -hmm. the wonder right. of technology instantly gets that picture. And okay. so a lot of times I'll be at a soccer event, I'll send a, a video and my mom real time can then watch the video. Okay. So it, it's bringing us closer together. And technology that unites humans is, is what I'm all for. Okay. I don't want a robot caring for my mom. I want a way to use technology to connect humans. Okay, so who sets this up? And again. I love that question. The grandparents live here. Let's yes. say the, the uh, kids live across the country. Who sets this up for them? And uh, obviously any device needs what's called an IP address. Yes. So therefore the people at the other end know how to connect to that particular and one and only device. Yes. And there's another question I have in there too. But can I ask the third you one? Bring it on. Right because my res Different my sets of grandparents. Maybe yes. they have two. How does the person at the other end call, okay, my, my mom and dad over here and my in-laws over here. Yes. How do they connect to them? Is it gonna be as easy as just you know, hitting their face, uh, you know, yes. a little mark, like you do on, you know, like on a message app or something, you yes. can just hit the person's name. I love that okay, you so there's three questions are so there, tech okay. savvy. And the, what we did is we have, a, you know, for five years, a cadre of the top professors in computer science coming up with how to break through all that complexity. Okay. So here's the answer. The answer with a whole bunch of work in creating it. Mm -hmm. Your first question is how does it get set up? Setup, it's a done deal. Like when I, we gave my mom an iPad, 
it, it was just from the beginning. It was too much for me and too much for mm -hmm. her to set up. So we have what we call a 90-90 rule, that a 90-year-old can be using and enjoying the gram pad in 90 seconds. Oh, wow. So you, go, you can either go to grampad.net or call a phone number that I'm happy to provide. Yeah, yeah I think I have it here. And um, then the adult child, let's say, who's ordering it, then um, has it shipped. So when it okay. and through my simple telephone, I have put on it when it arrives to me as the 90 year old, with no twisties, with one finger, I can open it up. It arrives, and my kids' pictures are already on here. I can press wow. a button and get right to my daughter in Florida. Wow. So that's about the setup. The setup is that it's no setup. It's already set up through the incredible sophistication. Okay. And then the second question is, yeah. I too have um, my parents and my in-laws. And so with the same app, I'm able to connect to both of them. Okay. So I'm sending pictures to both. Okay. And I can do that singly or I can sometimes I'll send them different ones depending on, you know, one side of the family wouldn't think it was a good idea to go on an extravagant vacation yeah. and the other ones might. <laughs> so you can customize it. All what right. I've learned is that seniors are more different and unique and strong than any other right. age. So every grandpa has to be unique. So your music, your games, your context. It's not a one size fits all and we really customize it to that. All right, we're out of time. Uh, we'll have to have you back and talk a little bit I'd more love about it. To. I wanna find out about updates. And um, I know there's a monthly cost. I think it's $40 a month. Yes. You buy the device, but it goes through a cellular company. Uh, so we'll get more on that maybe next time when you come on. But you can get more information on grandpad.net. The number is 1-800-704-9412, right? Perfect. All right, Carrie. <laughs> Thanks Good for your see great you. work. Take care. We'll be right back.